Welcome to Healthy Pets, Healthy Owners. I'm Dr. Edmund Sulkowski. We have an interesting show for you today. A little bit unusual for Healthy Pets, Healthy Owners, but I think it's an important topic that we need to discuss. And I'd like to welcome my friend, Diana Mascara Crooks. Diane, welcome to Healthy Pets, Healthy Owners. Hello. Diane <coughs> is uh, actually a hairdresser by trade, and she's been my hairdresser for a number of years. Uh, that's why uh, everybody always comments on how they like mm -hmm. my, my hair which is always a mess as far as I'm concerned because all I do is drive around with the windows open, the top down, the wh whatever, or a helmet <laughs> on my head for biking. But that's kind of my style is to have crazy hair. When I first found Diane years and years ago, um, I, <laughs> I said to her, Diane, I don't spend a lot of time with my hair and I like crazy <laughs> hair and if, if I don't even own a brush or a comb, it's whatever my hair does. I towel dry it and walk out of, out of the house. And she says, no problem, because I've had the experience where I go to someone who does hair, whether it's a fancy salon or just a barber, and it's whatever that they think I should look like. And Diane said, well, I'll give you some of my ideas, and then you do whatever you want, and I'll cut it the way you want it, and I'll style it the way you want it, whatever. Correct. Correct. And that was the first time I've actually ever encountered that. We're not here to talk about how my crazy hairstyles <laughs> at times. The reason I asked Diane to come on the show is because Diane in her practice as a, as a beautician, I don't know if that term's used beautician, anymore. Beautician, hairdresser. Hairdresser. Mm -hmm. uh, she uses products that are all natural. And so that's the focus of this conversation. Although we'll talk a little bit about some other things, but it's the, the process of using natural products that don't interfere with, with your body and maybe make you sick. Correct. A and, <coughs> and that's her approach. And I was lucky to find that. I didn't even mm -hmm. know that when I walked into your salon the first time years ago. Okay. Um, I, I like Diane so much as a person, mm -hmm. and you know, we've become friends over the years, and she's a good friend of my sister's as well, mm -hmm. and, but I, I learned that her approach was a natural approach to how she eats and, and what she does for her clients in their hair. So welcome, Diane. Welcome. Thank I you actually, for having me. I actually <laughs> been working on Diane for a few years to come on the show. <laughs> so I was. I know it took a while. <laughs> happy to get her here. Yes. So you're you're located here in McMurray. Correct. And your shop is is located in the Opal Rose. Opal Rose Boutique. Which is right off of 19. Mm-hmm. Right behind Atria's restaurant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the first question I need to ask you is, how did you get start started in the business? <gasps> Long time ago, long, 43 years ago, but longer than that, because as a young girl, I always knew this is what I wanted, always. Well, you always wanted to, to always. take care of hair. Yes, take care of it, play with it, do whatever I could, cut it, my dolls, everything, everybody. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so you went in and, and learned how to do that. You went through the training and so correct. forth and the, the certification. Correct, cosmetology school. And um, when I came out, instead of jumping right into it, I went with a mentor. In fact, I had two of them. My father was one, he was a barber. So I learned a barber technique through him. And then the hairdresser who I mentored with was Tony Zenner from Washington, PA. And I stayed with him for about three years. And then with my father all the time, off and on. And, and there's a difference in being a barber and just cutting hair and then being a stylist where, where you're using shampoos and you're using coloring agents and so forth. So right. it's a whole different technique. It's technique, correct. It's a scissor comb technique. And a lot of barbers, well, back then it was just the haircutting, but now they're actually barber stylists. Oh, they get really? into some of the color and different things that so, we do. See, as a kid, going, going to the barber to get my haircut was traumatic for me. <laughs> I, I was, you know, I threw tantrums, I'm sure. I can really? actually remember a few. I, to me, that was torture, getting my hair cut. <laughs> a lot of children don't like it. But you have to, I had a child one time, it took three or four times before I would even cut his hair. He would come in for the appointment, but I just introduced the cutting materials, the clipper, and talked with him and said, okay, we don't have to cut today, okay. Yeah. But it took like three or four times yeah. because I didn't want him to be afraid of it. I've actually had to do that same type yeah. of technique with children in dentistry. Yes. You know, because it takes time. they're afraid of the sounds and the smells and the, and, mm -hmm. and the commotion and so forth. And, you know, I still carry some of that with me today when I, until oh, I met you, actually. Because you go to a, a, these salons and you know, it's rare to even find a barber anymore, but there, there mm -hmm. are all these, these high fashion salons around the area, big ones. 
and you walk in there and one person seats you, the other person washes your hair, the other person blow dries your hair, the other person cuts your hair, the other person does this, and you're moving around like on a merry-go-round, you know, and, and there's chaos and confusion. And when, when I found you and I started having my hair done by you, in fact, I, I used to fly in from Arizona. You did. And, and We'd Diane. We'd catch you on a Sunday or Yeah, Diane would come on a night. Sunday and say, I got to. <laughs> what I said, Ed, give me your times uh, Sunday morning. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I so, said, okay. Yeah, because I used to uh -huh. buzz in and buzz out of here. But, mm -hmm. but when I, my first impression was how relaxed I was because there's none of that confusion in your office. No, we've gotten away from that. We just want relaxing, come in, enjoy yourself, enjoy your time. We are all busy, very busy today's world. And you need that hour, hour and a half just to sit down and relax and regroup. And I feel we give that to well, our clients. Plus it's a one-on-one. -on -one. You mm -hmm. don't have, s you're, you're the person that does everything for Correct. your client. From the washing of the hair to the, to the finishing of the styling. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so there's none of this commotion and it's a very relaxing environment mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the place. And that alone to me was a lot because even to this day when I would walk into these places, I, would, I, I could feel myself tense up. And you mm. think, why are you doing that? You're just getting your hair cut or whatever. You felt like you're in assembly line. It, well, that's that's true. Mm -hmm. But it, it just, I think it took me back to all those times as a kid where I, I just hated going to get my hair done. You know? Wow. And, you know, it was, you're going to get a haircut. And then it would be like, no, I don't want a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a haircut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know? So, mm -hmm. so th that was the first thing I noticed. And then you're... Uh, being at Opal Rose, R Opal Rose, it's a sort of a totally different setup than your average. Totally. So tell, tell the audience about that. Okay, first, first thing when you come in, it's um, a boutique, a small boutique. And, and what um, do you mean by boutique? Clothing store, some jewelry, fashion. And then in the back, we have three hair salon, I mean three hairdressers in the salon. And we all run our own business. So there's three separate areas. Correct. We're kind of combined on the common areas with the shampoo sinks, the ladies' room, the kitchen, laundry area. But we all have our own chair, our own stations, and we run our own business. So we answer the phones, our texts. It's a different concept. Everyone takes care of it. But if we need help here or there, if needed, we're there for each other. Mm -hmm. We all get along. It's very nice. And then what happens, uh, what, there's a, some downtime when somebody's getting their hair colored or waiting for their Correct. sets or so forth. So when that happens, um, they process for another half hour so they can get some coffee, they can watch TV, we have a nice little waiting area, um, you can shop in the boutique, and the people love it because that's, that's their downtime. And that boutique is run by Anna. Anna Hilborn, yes. And she's she's a pleasant person. Or a very nice pleasant. Person. Yeah. Very. Yeah, she makes it like home. It, she does. And she it's, does. It, it's a very nice group of people all working together, mm -hmm. even though you're working independently of one Correct. another. Correct. Yeah. It's a different concept, but it works. Yeah. It works very well. There's no stress. And, and that's and kind that's of not how you it. were trained to operate a, a salon. No. So no, they teach you the, you go to the shampoo, you go here, <laughs> the assembly line. The, yeah. But in um, the big salons, I've had a big salon before in skincare, and it was nice. and. A nice group of people worked with us and um, but one day I just said I'm done with this big I want small so it took a couple of years to get where I'm at today but I found it and it works beautifully and so wonderful. you actually toned down your own efforts in correct. order to make all this work correct mm -hmm. so we call and make an appointment tell us what happens after that we make that first initial appointment first client first time yes I, they come in I mark off a little extra time you're in charge of all your appointments so you know who's new you know who needs more time so I mark that extra time and we talk just get back and forth like you and I are doing they tell me what they want to see what they want if it can happen I educate them and then the first thing if it's hair color which is um, I clarify the hair to start a clean canvas because I want to be able to do whatever I want with that hair. So what, what does clarification of your Clarif hair mean? Cleans the hair off, gets rid of all the free radicals and everything on the hair, um, off the scalp, and it's a gentle cleansing, clarifying shampoo, all natural, certified organic. 
Yeah, we'll talk a little bit about the products mm -hmm. that you use a little bit later on the show. I kind of want sh on the show. I kind of want you to set up exactly what your process is right now as far as integrating a, mm -hmm. a new client into, into the salon. So once we determine where she wants to go, and a lot of times, a lot of people know what they want, but there are some they need our help. They don't know, so it's up to us to guide them. So after we're done cleaning, and then we go through the process of applying their color, whether it's highlight, low lights, both, color, base, and both. That all depends what's needed. They process, they can relax, do whatever they like. They can sit in the room with me while I work with someone else. I introduce everyone. Everyone's like family in there. Get to know people and talk. Mm -hmm. And then um, that time comes to clean off. I clean the hair and I use a certain shampoo to clean the hair. And then I use a low pH balance conditioner that day. I don't even sell that conditioner because if you use it too much, it can dry the hair out. So on that day, the hair is high in the pH. So I want to bring it back down to a normal state and that's the conditioner I use. And it makes that hair feel not dry and brings it back down. And then proceed on and a lot of times I use a keratin that's um, really what hair is kind of made out of is keratin. Amino acids, well, proteins, keratin. Yeah. And um, mix it with an oil, natural oil, and put it into the hair and then I cut and style. If I need, if the hair is extremely coarse, it needs a little more. I have a flat iron spray if I use a heated iron and I spray the hair and it helps protect. A lot of times the irons and blow dryers can dry your hair out. Mm -hmm. Everyday use. But what I try to do is educate the people. I just don't do my work and then send them home. They get some free product, educate them on how to use it and why we're using it. So if they can continue that process at home and the next time they come in, they're surprised on how well their color has not faded because a lot of the synthetics will cause the hair to fade, the dryness, the dullness, and say, I don't know what's wrong with my hair. I don't have any shine in it. That's the biggest complaint is the shine. And I notice some of the sometimes when I'm in there, uh, you'll talk and discuss and have a conversation with your client about what their diet is and so mm -hmm. forth. And why do you do that? Well, because a lot of times, everything we put in our body comes out through the hair, the skin, everything. So, a lot of people, the sugars are bad. It all comes out, and we see it. Mm -hmm. So if you want to change that, I'm changing it on the outside, but it's also good to help start making that change on the inside. And then when people do some of those changes, do you see that reflected in I the do. hair? I do. I had one lady and um, turned her completely around, got her onto the, some keratin on a daily use. <clears throat> I sell it so you can use it at home too. Her hair is night and day difference and she loves it. If you follow through and listen, it works. So one of the, I know in diet, and, and maybe you'll agree or disagree, but collagen is one of the most important oh, concepts of, very big. of in diet as far as reflecting in ha hair and nails. And skin. And skin, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so do you recommend collagen supplements sometimes or suggest that people look at collagen? Absolutely. If you, I, I mean, vitamin C has a lot of collagen yeah, in it. Yeah, vitamin C is really, actually. Yeah. And I vi eat that daily, Vitamin C is the matrix for, for yeah. uh, s the setup of skin and hair, actually. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if you're feeding those nutrients, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> if you feed your hair and skin and inside these nutrients, everything is so much better. It takes time but you will notice a difference. So, so in, in your conversations, you're not only suggesting putting topicals on the hair. No. It's, it's feeding what you the put inside in so that the hair, mm -hmm. the hair comes out. And I know over the years, you could tell when I'm being bad on my diet and, and mm -hmm. uh, you'll say, well, your hair is not like it usually is. Mm -hmm. And when I'm on my diet, that I'm watching what I'm eating and staying away from the sugar, you know. I, I know you can see this on camera. I had a big sugar outbreak. You I did. And it's been a while. It's been, this has been clearing up now for six weeks almost. Mm -hmm. But I, I went on a chocolate binge for two <laughs> days and it, it just boom did something. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know what it take. Why we go back 
and do that when we know it's not good? Well, I, I, I'm of the theory, Diane, that I must have been, there was something in chocolate that my body was needing that I wasn't providing. Hmm. And then, you know, I always do things overboard, so, so I just <laughs> went on a binge for two days. But I suffered the effects, mm -hmm. you know, and I see that result of what you're talking about. What you consume ends up being reflected mm -hmm. in your hair and in your skin. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, this has been almost a crisis for me. And it got a little secondary infection. And, mm -hmm. and of course, I'm not treating it with antibiotics because I'm taking a, a different approach to it. And it's going away, but it's, 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 it takes time. it's time. You it know? does. It is going away. It's so much better since the last time I yeah, saw you. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm using some natural products. Um, in fact, one of the products I'm using, you sell at your salon, and hopefully we can talk about that. But I'm doing things naturally that have uh, some antibody, antibacterial effects and mm -hmm. so forth. And, and then trying not to do what I call an insult, and that's what I'm ingesting, things mm -hmm. I shouldn't, shouldn't be. And that's not always easy to guilty. follow. Yeah, We're all guilty of it. I do it myself, but we try not to binge. Yeah. Too much. <laughs> it's, it gets so hard at times. Yeah. Take a day, take a day off and just do it and get it out of your system. But sometimes but. that craving is your body asking for something that you're not providing, you know, so you have to be conscious of that as well. So you you have all these products, but you never push them, but you, you educate people on them. Mm -hmm. And this show is about education. Um, the radio show Healthy Pets, Healthy People is about education. Mm -hmm. we, want, we want you to be informed you can make a better decision if you're informed. Correct. So when I started, you, you would say, well, you might want to look at this product, and you gave me some, some products actually uh, on my first visit that I walked out of, the, out of your salon mm -hmm. with. And I, and I would say, Diane, I don't put stuff in my hair. And well, try this, and you'll, you'll see mm -hmm. that you'll, you'll like it. And then I, you're, you're absolutely right, I did like <laughs> it. But what differentiates the products that you have in your store from the average salon that's out there? We don't have the synthetics in our products. And why is like that important? Oh, it's very important. It's all about the nutrients, like we put in our body, like we put in our hair. The company manufactures everything at their plant, and then they go out of their way to carry the certified organic products. So the products at your store are, are not only non-synthetic, they're, uh, that collective term natural, natural yeah. can mean anything. And, and Correct. Not, and not <coughs> just for the audience sake, there's some natural things that aren't good for you, you know? Correct. But it's a kind of a collective good term, nat natural. So your products are natural, non-synthetic, being made, they're derived from, from plants, they're not derived from a compound that's synthesized from plants or right. from what coal, usually coal, tar right. products. None which, of that's in there. None of that's mm -hmm. in, the, in the products. And that mm -hmm. goes from the shampoos to the conditioners. To the color, to the permanent waving solutions. To, to everything they use so so that that makes a big difference too and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to put you on the spot here and I'm not even going to try to do this from memory <laughs> although I've talked about this a number of times here and I'm not going to mention these different different ingredients by name but I'm going to read some of the things to the audience that some of these things do um, here there's one one product that's a surfactant meaning it it's used as a solvent to make things slippery Okay, and this is in your average shampoo. Uh, it's, it's, it's an insecticide, actually, containing sodium and ammonia. It's a cancer-causing agent, causes liver damage, skin rashes, depression, diarrhea, and eye damage. Now, you're putting this on your hair, <coughs> and that stuff is, the fume off-gassing is going right into your eyes, and we know it causes eye damage. But this, this stuff is in... Most shampoos that you Most. buy over the counter. <coughs> Ours is not. And, uh, it is not. I'll give its abbreviation SLS. So if you're looking on your, your label, which mm -hmm. everybody should read. That's what they don't do. They don't read their labels. And then investigate what it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, it's sodium lauryl sulfate. Oddly enough, Diane, that's in toothpaste as well. Now here we're brushing the, our teeth with mm -hmm. that, and it's being absorbed into our gums. You get, yet again, liver damage, skin rashes, depression, diarrhea, and eye, eye damage. It's bad. Cancer-causing agent. Uh, what about perfumes and things like that? I, I notice your products don't have any of this offensive smells. We don't have smells. any perfumes in yeah. them. They're all natural, the natural oils. And one of the big things that this, this particular study was saying that, they, that per, these synthetic perfumes, and that's what they're focusing on, 
can cause major organ and lymphatic system damage. It can. So that's something that we all should be aware mm -hmm. of. You know, we th we're kind of becoming more and more aware of what we're putting in our mouths and in our bodies. We've got to be concerned about <laughs> what we're rubbing on our skin because our skin is a major organ and absorbs everything that we rub on it. Right. And we deliver medication through our skin. That's Correct. how absorbable mm -hmm. the skin is. Hair is no different and the it's scalp no is different. no different. So he here's another one. Uh, skin and eye irritation, uh, contact allergy, dermatitis. Um, the government regards it as safe but it, many people have a uh, negative reaction to it. Here's another product. Um, this one should be avoided at all, co at all costs. Uh, triclosan, triclosan, T-R-I-C-L-O-S-A-N, in toothpaste as well. Accumulates in fat cells. It puts the body in a state of toxicity, can irritate skin, eyes, lungs, and cause endoc endocrine and organ toxicity. Mm. Yet it's, bad. it's in most <coughs> of these products, not yours, mm -mm. but it's in most of the products. You've and then there's polysorbates, which are cancer-causing agents, and there's different forms of that. Um, the list goes on. It go, it, well, it, yeah, it, and I think it's important that we continue to talk about this <laughs> a little bit. And it sounds like I'm, I'm I, you know, giving you all these negatives, and we want to get to the positives. We will, but um, here's another one. PEG linked to cancer, organ system tox uh, toxicity, uh, skin and organ system toxicity on another product. Uh, a lot of them have this this uh, skin, eye, lung irritation and system toxicity. So that's scary, and that's why you have to know what products you're buying and have someone who's informed and educated. And there's a reason that your products cost a little more because it, it costs more to manufacture them, for one. Correct. And then it costs more for them to make it, but our products are so reasonable to sell compared to a lot of these products that have all this stuff in Here's that's one with, bad for us. Here's another one, another product that's SLES. It's, it's another sulfate that's uh, carcinogen. Mm -hmm. So we're putting these things that our body is, is then absorbing and mm -hmm. affecting how we, how we are. And now we're getting sick and then we're spending money on medical bills and, and so forth. Correct, it's, it's better to go the certified organic way so you don't have to reach that point to where you're going to the medical bills. So you researched and found a product line mm -hmm. that actually is organically certified Mm -hmm. All these are naturally derived from plants. Right. Do the same type of thing as far as making your hair look great and your skin look great. It makes a difference. When you use the other products that have the bad things in it, the hair is just not the same. It's just not the same. It's dull. It may look good for a week, but once you start using that on a daily basis, it just washes everything away that you worked so hard to put in. And it's important to follow that through at home I even have some clients of mine who will clean their own hair with my product before they come in for their color. So that way it saves a step for them there yeah. if they're in a hurry. So I sell it, they do it the day they come in and it's already clean. The surface is ready to start the canvas. So I know you, you had given me one of your products and said it was kind of a pasty thing. I, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know what it's called. Our molding taffy. Is that what it is? Mm, clay cement. And, and I said and I said to you, Diane, I won't use it. She said, just try it one time. Mm -hmm. well, I have really fine hair mm -hmm. and it's always blowing everywhere. And I use just a little dab of that. And, and that's all it takes yeah. with our products, a little dab. So our products will last so much longer. A lot of people waste they think more is better, not with our products. Less is better. Yeah. Don't and waste I, it. And honestly, even when my hair gets a little windblown and crazy, because you know, the first chance I can, I'm putting a roof back, like I say, or mm -hmm. something. People say stuff about my hair all the time. I say, well, it's Diane at, at Oprah. Your Rose. hair looks great. Oh, well. Yeah, it's, you, you're the messy look. It looks nice on you. A little yeah, bit of product just to kind of hold that messy together. Yeah. The less you do sometimes with the hair, I very seldom use flat irons at work. I'll fix the hair, I'll blow it out, I'll use a round brush on it and work with it. I don't need the flat iron. So if you don't need it, don't use it. If you need to touch it up, that's different. 
So you offer this full line of natural products that are organic. So you can, the products you have are, can take you from washing your hair all the way to styling your hair. Correct. And then mm -hmm. you offer some things as, as well for skin care. Mm -hmm. What do you have there? That's skin I have care? the CBD. CBD. Vitamin what? C serum for the skin. And I use that myself actually. Yes. Yeah. I told you to put it on your face. Yeah, you did. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I, see, you, and I, I, I said, listened to Diane. And know. I said, take that CBD serum and put that on your skin every day. Yeah. He goes, oh, okay. And I, I think my comment to you, Diane, the, the only thing I make sure that I do is brush my teeth off. That, yeah. <laughs> and it's hard for me to do that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it, she said, it, it doesn't take very much of that either. No, one little pump. And you're one of the few places around here that actually offers that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My clients love it. Yeah, it that's one of the, the things serum. that I'm putting on this breakout that help. I have and it's helped. It yeah. has helped a lot. Yeah. So it was a little different show because because this isn't we're not a a stylist show or no. or, or, or you know what's <laughs> but I I thought it was so important to bring you on to talk about the the differences and what what we do out there and how it impacts our health. Mm -hmm. And there are, there are products out there, Diane's offering them, that we can use to, to gain the same thing that we're doing with these over-the-shelf products that are not hurting us. You're not going to get the same results as our products. Better and results. It's, it's going to be better and it's not hurting us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, y you know, I have, to, I, I have to give my personal recommendation to Diane. She's a friend. <laughs> Uh, first of all, but but she does such a wonderful job. Well, thanks. And you know, I've had some times where I say, "Hey, Diane, my hair's looking a little bad, and I have to do this thing." And she'll say, "We'll get you in right away. You're really good mm -hmm. about doing that." And I got to tell you, for the, if you want a great experience and, and make a new friend, you need to give Diane a call. We have your number and so forth up on, so people can get a hold of you. Please come in. And and you're you're just mm -hmm. e easy to get to uh, right off of 19 here in McMurray. It's very easy. Yeah. Not hard at all. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, Again, you take the trauma out of, for me anyway, <laughs> out of going in and spending time getting my hair done because it's the least favorite yeah. thing I like to do. It's our downtime. Yeah. We have to relax. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. And I enjoy it. I, my day starts like the first day every day. Yeah. I love it. I've been at it for 43 years and I have no intentions on retiring for a while. Good. As long as well, I can go, great. I'm going. <laughs> Diane, we're at the end, so. of, the, we're at the end of this okay. show. And I, I thank you so much because I've been asking well, Diane for, for a me. number of years to come on. And she'd say, I don't think I, I can do TV. And I said, Diane, you can. It's easy. <laughs> it took a while. So it's <laughs> Diane Mascara Crooks <laughs> Hair Salon at the Opal Rose here in McMurray. <laughs> thank you again, Diane, for coming welcome. on. You're welcome. Thanks. Uh, also, you can listen to me live every Saturday morning at AM 1250 The Answer at 9 o'clock. You can call in and talk to our guest uh, uh, about your, your health and a natural approach to it, just like Diane at the hair salon. Remember, a healthy pet is a happy pet, and when you're healthy, you're happy as well. Thank you, everybody. We'll, we'll talk to you next time on Healthy Pets, Healthy Owners. Diane.